Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a memory spread and I will be planning for Halloween weekend, which was October 26th through November 1st. So I know I'm quite a few holidays behind, um, but I'm just catching up and planning as I can. Um, so for this week, I have a really gorgeous Halloween kit from Paper Dove Shop. I absolutely love this kit and I've been wanting to use it for so many years. Um, and the shop owner finally brought it back to her shop this year. I reached out to her about it and she was like, oh yeah, I can re-release it this year. Um, so I'm super thrilled about that. And I did pick up the mini kit version. So it only comes with these three sheets. I'm gonna quickly go over what's included. Um, on this first page, we have the full boxes and a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar here at the bottom. And the second page here has a ton of functional stuff. We've got bill do stickers, some habit trackers, check flags, um, some circle icons, half boxes and quarter boxes. And we've got a set of, or two sets of um, headers on the side. And and the last page here has the bottom washi, which has this really cool kind of drip effect. And then we have some date covers, some washi strips over here, and then a weekend banner at the bottom. So definitely I'm going to need to pull in some more boxes because she only includes a few um, half and quarter boxes in the mini kit size, um, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can dig through my collection and uh, find what I need. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the planning. Um, I'm going to start by placing down the bottom washi as usual, and then I will continue to build the rest of my spread from there. The bottom washi was just a bit too big for the bottom washi section on my planner. I am using the Recollections Planner from Michaels this year, and I think most of these kits were sized for the Erin Condren, which is just slightly bigger, and so I did have to go ahead and trim it down in order for it to fit in that space. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move on to my sidebar. I decided to use the girl with her huge sunglasses in the top corner. I just think she's so cute, and she's also wearing those little cat ears, um, just so perfect. And then I used a washi strip with a this week header from Magic Prince Co to separate the full box from the rest of my sidebar. I placed down a habit tracker for my workouts and then I used a washi strip with a happy moment sticker in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. And I also used a gold foiled heart icon from Planning World. Um, then I used a check flag to mark my happy moments. And then at the very bottom for my dinners, as you can see, I pulled in another one of those icons and a dinner script in my writing again from Planner Just For You. And then I go ahead and move on to my date covers. For this week, I decided to pull in some date dots that I had left over from a paper rose planning kit, and I had almost exactly the um, dates that I needed. I think I was just missing a 26 for Monday, so I decided to use this little bow sticker that came on the sheet instead, just so I could still use those date dots. Moving on to Monday, I first placed down a today header, and of course I wanted to mark Coffee Monday, so I go ahead and do that with a Coffee Monday sticker from Planner Just For You in my writing, and then also a gold foiled coffee from Hazel sticker. Monday was actually a very unsettling day um, because there was a fire that had erupted pretty close to where I live. It was maybe like 10 to 15 miles away um, from our house. And so like everything was super, super smoky. You know, the sun was just bright red. It was really scary. I still had to go into work that day, which was really stressful because um, they started to evacuate pretty close to my house, like just a few miles away. And it was just a really stressful situation. I'm happy to say that everything was fine. I don't think any houses ended up burning, which was honestly such a miracle. So, you know, thank God. But anyways, to mark that, I used that worried emoji sticker and it's from the Coffee Monsters Co. I then used a washi strip with a gold foiled today script sticker and that's from Chic Blossom Prints. Um, and then I placed down a quarter box with a pencil from Samantha May Sticks to mark that I did some report writing at work because I really couldn't handle seeing any kids that day. Um, so I just kind of stuck to report writing, which was a little less demanding. Then I placed down a TV icon from Nicole Hudge Designs and I used a gold foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs um, to add a little foil to mark that we watched the Schitt's Creek finale that night. And then before we went to bed, I ended up packing just in case there was um, a possible evacuation overnight. I wanted to be prepared. Um, so initially I wrote pack for overnight evacuation, but that made it sound like it happened. So I decided to rewrite it. Um, and because my whiteout color doesn't match, I just cut up a little square from a planner page that I wasn't going to be using and just covered it up. That icon again is from Planning World. And then before I move on to Tuesday, I decided to switch some things around because I wanted to move up the full box a little bit. So I go ahead and rearrange those stickers and then I move on to Tuesday. 
I first placed down a full box at the very bottom of Tuesday, and then um, at the top I used a quarter box and a working girl sticker. I think this one is from Let's Plan It, and I used that to mark a meeting that I had that day. I went and grabbed some Thai takeout off campus. Um, I have like this Thai place that I really love going to near my school, and that utensil icon is from Hazel Sticker. I then had a meeting with a new staff member on our team. Um, so to mark that, I used a laptop sticker and that is from Paper and Milk when she first opened. So I'm pretty sure they are not available anymore, but I just felt like that color matched my kit really well. Underneath that, I used a today header with a two bow checklist to mark a couple meetings that I had. And one of them I was just gonna mark off camera. And then that night I did a Zoom chat with some of my best friends. That gold foil laptop sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And then that video chat script sticker is from Planner Just For You. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and I chose to use this one with the drip pattern because it's the same pattern as the bottom washi, so I didn't want them too close together. And then there was a bit of empty space at the bottom of that full box, um, which I used to mark a staff meeting that I had, and that icon is from Planning World. I decided to mark my lunch because I didn't have a whole lot going on on Wednesday. Um, the utensil sticker is from Coffee Monsters Co. I then wanted to mark something that I did at work and um, I don't wanna go into details, but excuse my language, it was just like super ridiculous. And um, that Munchkin sticker is from Once More With Love. I picked up some groceries before I went home and I used a gold foiled grocery icon from Hazel Sticker. And then I actually did a workout that evening. So I pulled in a half box. Um, that workout outfit sticker is so cute, but I don't know where it's from because that was from my leftovers collection. So I'm super sorry about that. And then the workout time sticker is in my writing. So it's from Planner Just For You. At the end of the night, we watched the chef show and to mark that, I pulled in this TV icon from the Pretty Pink Co, um, but it seemed really empty. So I ended up creating a flag from this like top section of the Paper Dove shop um, sticker page. As you can see, there was like a little bit of pattern. Um, so I just took that and cut a flag out of it so that I could use it as a background behind the TV. On Thursday, I first started by placing down a to-do header at the very top. Then I used a quarter box with some glasses sticker from um, the Pretty Pink Co. to mark something I did for work that day. Um, I had an IEP meeting, so I used a post-it icon from Hazel Sticker, and I paired that with a working icon. I believe that one is from Let's Plan It. I go ahead and place down a full box under that, and then I decided to work from the bottom up so I knew how much space I had. Um, at the very bottom, I used a pack your bag sticker. That's from Love Shira, so unfortunately her shop's closed now, um, but I really love her writing, and of course her little doodles are super cute, um, so I pulled that in. On that washi strip, I used a grocery icon to mark grabbing some groceries, and then at the end of the night, a small group of friends and I got together for a little Halloween happy hour. Um, we just did it outside, in front of one of their houses, um, like in their little driveway space. It was all spooky and Halloween themed. Um, so to mark that, I used this really cute mochi witch sticker and it was from one of the Halloween sheets that I have. It's so cute and it was like so perfect for the occasion. Moving on to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then to cover up the gray header, I decided to use um, one of the washi strips from the kit to make it look like the full box was extending. Um, I then decided to work backwards again because I really needed to know how much space I had um, to mark all the important parts of the day. So you see me go ahead and lay down all the boxes and icons that I was planning to use for the day. And once I got to the top, that first sticker I placed down is again from Mochi Kichi and I think it's like a little um, Halloween ghost. I use that to mark that some of the kids in my preschool program came by to do a practice trick or treat in the office. So it was adorable. They all had their Halloween costumes on and they were practicing how to trick or treat. And yeah, it was every bit as cute as it sounds. Um, then on the half box, I used that heart sticker. Um, I believe that one is from Hazel Sticker. And I used that to mark dropping off my ballot that day. I decided to vote early so I didn't have to to go in person. And then um, that today's script sticker I put down earlier is from Chic Blossom Prince, and the car is from Nicole Hutch Designs. I use that to mark driving out to Palm Springs. We went out there after work on Friday. 
that wine bottle sticker I think is from Mandy Dreams. I used that to mark going over to my friend's Airbnb um, that she had rented out for the weekend because it had like a nice spacious backyard space. Um, so yeah, we went over and had some drinks and just chilled for the night and that was it for Friday. On Saturday, I first placed down the Happy Halloween double box. I just love that so much. It was so perfect that Halloween fell on a weekend this year. Um, the first thing I marked on Saturday was sleeping in, and that sleeping mask sticker, I believe, is from Simply Said Life. Then on the half box, I marked that we went back over to my friend's Airbnb, and we had some drinks and brunch um, and just laid out by the pool, which was super lovely because it was nice and warm that weekend. Um, that emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I definitely needed to take a nap afterwards because I had quite a few drinks so I used this really cute pillow sticker and I think that's from Happy Sherpa Papery. I placed down a Today header and then I used a half scallop label which I'm pretty sure is from Panda Bird Designs. Those are her signature scallops and initially I put down a heart on top of it um, but I did lift it up because I felt like that flower was so pretty. I decided to just leave it like that. I used that to mark the actual engagement party that we attended. Um, it was 80s movie themed so my boyfriend and I dressed up as like the characters from E.T. He was like the kid. I think his name was Elliot and I was his sister who I'm pretty sure was played by Drew Barrymore and um, yeah so that was really fun it was like in a little outdoor patio space at a restaurant so again we kept everything outdoors and um, just try to keep it as safe as possible um, and yeah at the very bottom I just marked that we celebrated our friend's engagement which is super exciting I'm also a bridesmaid for her so I'm really excited to do all that fun stuff and that heart sticker I believe is from Hazel sticker on Sunday, I first placed down a half box at the very bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I moved to the top. I first placed down a to-do header and then used a washi strip and an exclamation icon from Planning World to mark that it was the end of daylight savings time. So we got an extra hour, which was lovely. That three bow checklist is from White Deer Stationery and I just use that to mark cleaning up and packing. Um, and then before we headed home, we stopped by Ding Tea because they had one out there, which was so awesome. It's like my favorite bow a place and that boba sticker is from once more with love I used a gold foiled bow from Hazel sticker to mark that we made it home on Sunday night. And then on that half box, I used a TV icon from Happy Sherpa Papery with another foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs to mark that I finally watched The Princess Bride for the first time. Like I have been hearing about this movie forever and everyone has always told me to watch it, but I just hadn't gone around to it. And um, it was so good. I absolutely loved it. It was so funny. I don't know. It's just like definitely a movie that I think thoroughly enjoyed so I'm so glad I watched it and now I get all the references um so yeah that was definitely a highlight of my Sunday and once I'm done with that I'm just now filling out my sidebar with everything that happened in the week in terms of my workouts my happy moments and my dinners um and now I'm just showing you all the stickers that I have left in this kit I do a vid wiggle so you guys can see the foiling. I've been trying to extend this part because I just think it's so pretty when you can see all the like foil and the shine. Um, I just think it's so gorgeous. And then now I'm doing a walkthrough so you guys can see the foiling even better and also see some of the details in the spread. That is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this come together. I really, really have been loving these type of like monochromatic spreads. I know this one wasn't truly um, monochromatic because it had some pops of like peach and gold, um, but I just feel like it turned out so pretty. I loved the gold foil that I pulled in because I feel like it worked so nicely with this kit. And yeah, all in all, it was just such a perfect Halloween kit. I'm so thrilled about it, as you guys can tell. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, thank you all so much for your support as usual. I really appreciate it. I'm slowly but surely catching up. So um, yeah, thank you all again. I hope you guys are taking care and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.